Hi there, this is David, and welcome back to Let's Play Nostalgia! Last time we made it into London, and apparently Pad is down in the sewers, so let's go down there and find him. Also, we're gonna be adventurers to find, uh, our father. Yeah. So, in order to do that, we have to, uh, do like a little quest at the Adventurers Association and raid the sewers of monstrous rats! So, let's get started! Um, in here, you can spend some time uh, revealing the map if you really want to, if you really care. The thing about revealing the map is it's kind of a pain, number one. And number two, there's really no rewards for it. That being said, you actually do get a reward for it, but you only get it at the very end of the game after you have revealed the maps for every single map, including the two bonus dungeons. So, it's kind of like, why bother? You know, you you get a reward after you've already beaten all the super bosses. So, it's just kind of stupid. So, <laughs> that being said, if I reveal the maps, I reveal them. If I don't, I don't. I really don't care. Um, if you've watched any of my videos, I'm not one of the people who obsesses about trophies or any of that other bullcrap. Because I just really don't care. It doesn't affect the gameplay. Ooh! Eddie gained a level there. Awesome. And he learned Overdrive! Hey hey! Sweet! So, now we get a little tutorial on how to advance your skills. I'm not going to go over it, I'm just going to tell you how to do it. Basically, go into the menu, and then you can go to the Confirm Acquire Skills, right over here. And then you can use skills like Healing Magic and stuff like that, or you could advance and acquire your skills. Then you can choose your character, and right now all we have is Overdrive. Now, to move Overdrive from level 1 to level 2, it costs 10 SP, and we currently have 18 SP. And if you want to know what Overdrive does, or what advancing, or, well, if you want to know what it does, it tells you right there at the bottom, temporarily boosts your own attack power. But if you want to know what actually raising it up various levels does, hit the Y button, and the skill enhances as you gain levels with it, it'll increase the attack power, and it will lower the amount of MP that it costs to do so. So I would definitely recommend advancing Overdrive. In fact, I would recommend advancing Overdrive all the way up to level 10. At least get it up to level 5, but definitely work on it. Get it up to level 10. Whoa! This must be that kid, Pad. Uh, he looks, uh, in bad shape there. Yeah, let's help him out. Whoa! Woohoo! Yeah, yeah, gotta work together. Um, is this really the time for that? Yeah, seriously. Come on, let's fight these rats. Lots of them, too. I'm totally unprepared for five. Whoa. So he has the lock-on skill, which temporarily boosts your critical hit rate. Um, not really a fan of it. Don't really care. So I'm going to have him just attack these guys normally, because, again, whenever you attack these monsters and you kill them quickly, you go up in your rank in battle. So the quicker that you can kill these monsters, the better off you will be. So just have them both go all out, and you should be fine. Um, they're going to go down in one shot. So there we go. That's easy enough. And Pad is essentially your thief of the game, whereas Eddie is kind of like your knight or your paladin. He does get a healing skill. It's not all that hot, though. Um, Pad is just your thief. And he gets special support skills like steal and speed up and things like that. So it's pretty nice. Oh, well, how do you know that he's some rich kid? And where did you get off? He just saved you. Come on now. What's wrong with like a thank you? Seriously, you're kind of a dick. Oh, you're not going to join our party? Oh, yeah, we promised a girl. And if you promise a girl something, you to do it because she's a girl and that's just the way that these games go anyway over there we get two heal bottles and if you touch the save point right here uh not only can you save but you also restore hp and mp as well so that's pretty nice yeah i'll go ahead and save why not doesn't hurt to do it so there we go and uh just continue on our way revealing map portions because i don't know why just because. <laughs> it really doesn't matter. Anyway, uh, continue on this way. And... Whoa! Yikes! Holy crap! That must be that giant monster rat. Why does he have a necklace on? 
Oh, what's going on? What just happened? Oh, hey, it's Pad! How did he get so far in front of us, and how did he get beyond that rat? Oh, well, yeah, thanks. Oh, it's Pad's medal! Huh. Yeah, so, uh, let's take this guy out! Okay, yeah, well, you probably should have done that before, but, eh, now's as good a time as any. And it's boss time against the monster rat himself. Uh, for Pad, just have him attack. Uh, this guy has 40 HP, so it will take quite some time to bring down, not a whole hell of a lot, but, eh, decent amount of time. Use Overdrive with Eddie, and then have the other guys just attack until he, uh, finally goes down. He's really not that difficult. I would say, though, if you need to heal with a heal bottle, I would have Pad do it, uh, simply because he only deals about half as much damage as Eddie. So, yeah, there we go. Easy enough. Not that hard at all. What is nice about this game is you really don't have to grind all that much. It's kind of like uh, the PSP Legend of Heroes games, where you really just don't have to grind all that much, which is so nice. Although, for the bonus dungeons, you will have to grind, which is a pain in the ass. I'm still debating, though, if I'm actually going to do the bonus dungeons or not. Oh, yeah, I guess so. Oh, okay, so you don't know where your mother is or who your mother is, but she just left you this little medal. Oh, okay. Yeah, a little memento to remember her by. Yeah, that is kind of odd. Huh. I don't think anything's going to happen if you put, you know, just a necklace together, but, eh, this is a nostalgic video game, so we'll see. Oh. Oh, okay, yeah, we got to find Gilbert Brown. He went missing. He's probably drowned at the bottom of the Mediterranean Sea, but, you know, looking into the sewers of London is a good place to start. Why not? Yeah, come on, be an adventurer with me. You live in London, and there's only, like, five places to go to, and you don't know what the Adventurers Association is? Eh, maybe. I really seriously doubt it, but, eh, you never know. Yeah, it couldn't hurt to go check it out. Well, awesome! We get more party members with Pad! Oh, and we have a party chat option, which, which uses the Y button, which is pretty nice as well. And then we get into an instantaneous battle. Like, I didn't even move! Like, why did I get into this fight? It's so ridiculous. I didn't even freaking move. Pad, join my party. Boom! A random battle. Like, this is like beyond the beyond crap. Eh, anyway, I'll deal with party chat in a minute. Let's see. Uh, go on through here. Continue following this path. We can't get in there yet. But we'll be able to explore this sewer more later. And here we have some jellies. I think that that rounds out all the new monsters uh, that we can encounter in the sewers. And there we go. Um, again, there's really no strategy fighting these guys at all. We don't have magic or anything else like that. Oh, well, they have magic. Although it actually does less damage than their physical attacks, so I don't know why I even bothered. But, eh, it's there. Oh, I'm getting tons of nice ranks. Awesome. Yeah, uh, you are you are going to want to use the SP that you gain up because you only have a max of 9,999 SP, and that sounds like a lot right now, but towards the end of the game, that's going to build up quite a bit. So let me know if you want to see me buying skills on screen or if you want me to do all that stuff off screen. Anyway, let's check out the party chat. Oh. Yeah, gotta head on over to the Adventurers Association. We have to talk about that. Oh. Okay. Yeah, what's your deal? Like, can Eddie not do anything right? Are you like a carbon copy of Rebecca? Everything that Eddie does, you're just not, you know, you're just too good for because Eddie's some, some, some rich kid and you have like issues about being poor? I mean, he was born into this life. It's not like he can help it. And he seems like such a nice kid. Like... What's your deal with him? Uh, yeah, let's just hurry on up. So I'm gonna get on out of here and meet you back up there. Okay, made it out of there. Oh, well, she seems happy at least. 
Uh, on my way out, I went ahead and I filled out more places of the map. Like, if I can fill out the map, I will. I'm not gonna, like, go out of my way to not fill out the map, but I'm also not gonna be, like, a stickler, a stickler about it either. So, anyway, let's go over here. Uh, yeah, it's me again. Yeah, we totally passed the test! Oh, sweet! Well, we only have to do one really easy quest. I guess this isn't like becoming a goal of Hunter in Wild Arms 5, where you just get screwed over constantly by Maravel. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're Eddie Brown. Uh, yeah. That's a pretty big conclusion to jump to, though. Brown is a pretty common last name. Oh, he's the greatest adventurer in all of Britain. Huh. Yeah, totally. Oh, we get some proof. Sweet. What do we get? The Adventurer's Notebook. Okay. Sure. Okay, awesome. Well, that was easy. Oh, and we get some quests, too, like in the uh, Legend of Heroes series. Awesome. Oh, what now? Oh, Mr. Evans. Huh. Yeah, that would be me. What does he want? Okay, we need to go to the airship dock. And the southern side of town... Okay, well, I guess we already got an airship. That's pretty cool. But let's go check out this adventurer's notebook. Uh, it's right in here in the menu. And, yeah, there's a typo there. It's really crappy, but, eh, it is what it is. Anyway, here we can see uh, it keeps track of all the quests in the game. It keeps track of diary entries, which I'm probably going to end up showing during the end slates of the videos. It keeps track of character data, which I'll show in a bonus episode. Uh, what else? All the monsters that you encounter, it keeps track of the monster data. Um, everything else, I'll show that in bonus videos towards the end as well. It shows maps of every location, which is kind of cool. Um, it keeps track of all sorts of stuff. The treasures that you found in the sewers. Right now, I have half the treasures inside the London sewers. So, there, you know, there's more to, to um, find in there. It keeps track of your item data. And it gives you, like, a, um, a, a description of each thing as well, which is really neat. So you're probably going to end up wanting to buy everything from all the shops just to fill out your adventurer's notebook, which I probably will do off-screen because, you know, who wants to see me just buy random crap that I, you know, that's not even a, any good. You just have to buy it just to fill this thing out. But anyway, it's pretty neat. All in all, I really, really like it. But before we head over to the uh, airship dock, let's go back and talk to her. Now, here we can accept a quest, and we have our adventurer rank, which is E, which is the lowest, and the more adventurer points that we earn, the higher up our rank will become. For the most part, whenever you do a quest, all you really get is gold um, and some adventurer points. Every once in a while, you'll get um, items, which is really the main reason for doing these quests, and just for completion and storyline too. But anyway, over here... For Operation Wipeout Rats, we get 20 Adventurer's Points and 2,000 Gold! Okay, so let's go ahead and accept the quest. Now, the problem with the quest system is you can only have one quest at a time. If you already have a quest, you can't accept any other quests. So you have to do them or else you'll kind of get screwed or else you have, you know, you have to go back and you have to cancel the quest and blah, blah, blah. Also, you have to go and find people and talk to them, so it's not enough just to get the quest. You also have to find these people and talk to them as well, so it's kind of a process, but it's not that bad. Oh, yeah, well, I thought we already exterminated all the rats. Why do you have to exterminate even more? I thought we already killed the boss rat. Is there another boss rat? Like, how do you not know that the boss rat that we just killed is this chief boss rat? Uh, yeah, seriously. Eh, yeah. So, I'm going to head on back inside the sewers, and um, I'm going to meet you where this new boss rat is. Lucky us. For this quest, as you go down here and explore the sewers, you're going to find five on-screen rats. The first rat is a battle with one rat, the second rat battle with two, all the way up to the last battle being with five rats. They're pretty much the, you know, the same thing that you've seen forever. But anyway, um, also while you're down here, go over to the save point, and then north of the save point, you can now access that area, and by doing so, you end up getting a strength shard, which would be a really good idea to go ahead and give to Eddie. I'm going to be giving all strength boosts to Eddie. 
If you give him to Pad, I mean, you could, it might be a decent idea, but honestly, I say just give him to Eddie. Once you de uh, defeat all five, head on back, and... Whoa! Yeah, time to finish you off for good this time! Screw you! But instead of having 40 HP, he now has 100 HP. Uh, we could try stealing. Why not? We gained that, uh, you know, one of the levels that we gained. Does he have anything? There's nothing to steal! Yeah, stealing sucks in this game. Don't even bother with it. And, yeah, you get poisoned here, but just use overdrive and then go all out. Whoa! 25 damage! That's really nice. And then he deals, like, no damage to you. So, if you bought some antidotes in the item shop, I didn't. Um, I wouldn't even bother healing yourself from this poison, because it's just going to poison you again, and it doesn't hurt you that much. I mean, he's hitting you for one damage, poison is doing, like, two. I mean, come on, give me a break. And if you really need to heal it, or heal yourself, go to the save point, and you'll restore your HP. It's fine. Um, I boosted as much SP as I could into Overdrive, and I got it up to level 4. So, I'm really able to get my strength up quite nicely for this battle. Look how much more damage Eddie's doing to this guy than, uh, Pad is, which is awesome. He must have more than, um, 100 HP. I thought that I did 4 hits and Eddie was doing, and Eddie was doing, like, 25 damage per hit. Maybe I misread it, or maybe the Beast Cherry that I have is wrong. Eh, who knows. Either way, he's going down. I mean, he's, it's really simple. Uh, let's see, heal up Pad, he doesn't have much HP left, so yeah, I really don't want him to die, lose that all of his experience and everything. But all in all, it's a pretty easy quest, it gets you some extra levels, gets you some extra skill points, and most importantly, a shit ton of gold. So awesome! Yeah, took care of all that. Oh, and I got a C rank, lovely. Ooh, I learned Combo Attack, yeah, that's another one that I'm totally going to want to advance up as well. Okay, great! So, let's head on back to the Adventurous Association and get a reward. Okay, so let's see, go ahead and report the quest. Yep! Nice! Get 20 points, and a ton of gold. Okay, so what do we gotta do next time? Let's see, let's check out our party chat and see what they got going on. Oh, that's right, we need to go see Mr. Evans down at the uh, airship dock. Awesome, and we're going to do that next time. Let's play Nostalgia. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a good day.